All right. Rock up to your hawa. Rock up to your hawa shy. Rock up to your hawa. Rock up to your hawa shy. Call hello, your hawa behind him, your hawa shy. All right, this is a video about Islam and uh, how it came to be. We're going to start from the book from Babylon to Timbuktu. We're going to start on page 45. All right, when Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. So this false religion of Islam is a joke. You know, I'm going to read uh, the scripture real quick. Deuteronomy 17 and 3. And have gone and served other gods that worship them, either sun or moon, or any of the hosts of heaven which have not commanded so this 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 religion is basically moon worship. You know. That's an idol. You know, these Muslims, they walking around with customs of the Hebrews. And especially our people. And Philly we were full of Muslims. Walking around with some dresses on. Talking about some Allah. When Allah only means power, God, but they don't have a name. Don't make no sense. All right, let's skip down a little bit. Uh, let's, start, let's start at 47. Accidentally, by the time the Hebrew Old Testament had been translated into Arabic, and the Arabs were rapturously pleased to read about their great ancestors in the, in the story of the Hebrew patriarchs because the Ishmael came from uh, Abraham Abraham he was a uh, smile was Hagar so he was Ishmael you know Isaac's brother I believe so he's a uh, so-called Arabs today that's their religion. That's what they got. So uh, the Muslims, the Islam is basically an Arab religion. You know, the guy from the Roman Catholic Church. Because uh, Muhammad was greatly influenced by the confessions and the city of gods. So this is basically a made of religion. No, 610 AD. It's a joke. It's like you. So he was, Muhammad was basically, he was basically copying off the Bible. Those are our customs. You know, we tell the Muslim, where do y'all the gods go? You worship a god every day, every day, a different one. <laughs> you saw what the Hebrews are doing. Us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Oh, look, they got one God. Oh, let's just get rid of, you know, the other one. And we keep this stone, the stupid stone. All right, let me get another scripture, man. Listen. All right, uh, this is Deuteronomy 29:17. And ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. So these these <laughs> idol worshippers, which are our people, because we were really discontinued from our heritage. Most of the so-called blacks, you know, we were discontinued from our heritage. Let me get that in Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 17 
Got a four. Um, Jeremiah seventeen and four. Looks like it. Jeremiah. No, that's the right one. So I can real quick. I got it. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So our people are serving Allah. And it's a false god. It's a joke. Mm. Oh, I was a piece of shit. <laughs> Stupid stone. Niggas banging their heads on the ground. Seven times. Got black spots in their head. It's a joke. Where the own Quran says the Israelites are above everybody. But you want to be Muslim. <laughs> These niggas is a joke. All right, let's go read a little bit more and I'm going to close it out about this false religion, Islam. I'm trying to get to the part where... All right, we're going to read to the first stage of Islamic revolution. This is from the Babylon, Timbuktu. Let's start, uh, let's see, Mohammed spent days in the hills outside of Mecca, where he immersed deeply in the, <coughs> the portable conditions of his people and wanted to lead them away from moral turpitude and idolatry. Too late. It seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared, commissioning him to articulate a new religion. Gabriel, you know, wouldn't talk to another heathen. You know, <laughs> this is a joke. But it seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared, commissioned him to take a new religion, to substitute for the old. So, you know, the Lord, Yahweh never made religion. His, his people is Israel, not Ishmael. All right. It says, it seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared, commissioned him to articulate a new religion, to substitute the old. Accidentally, Gabriel was the same angel who appeared in the vision to the Hebrew prophet Daniel. So how can that happen? So somebody is lying. So the Quran is bullshit. It seemed to him, um, uh, Gabriel was the same angel who appeared with Daniel. Muhammad gradually came to believe that he was a prophet. Now to be a prophet, which means to f foretell. So basically the Quran doesn't have anything that foretells anything. So how can he be a prophet? Alright. Uh, Muhammad Grasby came to believe that he was a prophet and expounded his religion to members of his family. He went out to the holy temple to preach to a multitude that gathered to worship the idols. Which these words of the first phase of the Islamic revolution began. <sighs> then he got this la di la 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 Muhammad Raja bullshit. There's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. Again, Allah comes, it's nothing but a Hebrew word which means God of power. Like, just it's a title. God is a title. God doesn't have no name. What is, what is your God name? Is it? What is your God name? Allah is not a is not a name. It's a title. All right. So I'm gonna close it out right here, and possibly a part two. Shalom.